Greetings, Fortniteers. This is Chicky Saf. We're gonna use Beast Boy Gorilla in this match. And we taught you a little bit about Beast Boy the character in the last couple Beast Boy videos. Today we're gonna teach you about the Teen Titans. I'm on Wikipedia right now, and here's what it has to say. The Teen Titans are a fictional superhero team appearing in American comic books published by DC Comics frequently in eponymous monthly series. As the group's name indicates, the members are teenage superheroes, many of whom have acted as sidekicks to DC's premier superheroes in the Justice League. We're talking about Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. The original team later becomes known as the Titans, when the members age out their teenage years, while the Teen Titans name is continued by subsequent generations of young heroes, first appearing in 1964 in The Brave and the Bold, number 54. The team was formed by Kid Flash, Robin, and Aqualad. Before adopting the name Teen Titans in issue 60, with the addition of Wonder Girl to their ranks. And we're gonna try and whip off this challenge real quick. Someone else landed here. I'll grab this chest. And Big Trouble is now in Big Trouble. Unfortunately, I was only able to open one chest. The quest I'm trying to do calls for two tower chests. So I'm gonna try and race over to the one by Pleasant Park after I drink up this shield. And now a little bit more about the Teen Titans. We're on Wikipedia right now. Over the decades, DC has canceled and relaunched Teen Titans many times. And a variety of characters have been featured heroes in its pages. Significant early additions to the initial quartet of Titans were Speedy, Aqua Girl, the Bumblebee, the Hawk, the Dove, the Harlequin, and three non-costume heroes, Boxer Mal Duncan, Psychic Lilith, and Caveman Nark. That reminds me of the caveman they just added to Fortnite. Duh. <laughs> that was a pretty funny character, right? From a couple days ago. That is a caveman. Right? The series would not become a genuine hit until its 1980s revival as the New Teen Titans under writer Marv Wolfman and artist George Perez. That guy's really famous. This run depicted the original Titans, now as young adults, and introduced new characters, Cyborg, Starfire, and Raven, as well as the former Doom Patrol member, Beast Boy, which is why we're talking about the Teen Titans to begin with here. All right, there's someone running over there. Let's get him. Back here, you whippersnapper. And you've been taken out by the big green gorilla. You're gonna see that we have a few pit stops on the way here. And if memory serves me correctly, we don't quite make it to the tower at all. I played this game a couple days ago. Alright, back to Beast Boy under his new alias of the Changeling. Who remembers that from the comic books? I certainly do who would all become enduring fan favorites. A high point for the series, both critically and commercially, was its The Judas Contract storyline, where the Teen Titans are betrayed by their teammate, Terra. And we just took out our third opponent there. I apologize, I wasn't even looking at the screen. Too busy playing with my phone. The 1990s featured a Teen Titans team composed entirely of new members before the previous members returned in the series Titans, which ran from the late 1990s to the early 2000s. Subsequent stories in the 2000s introduced a radically different Teen Titans team, made up of newer DC Comics sidekicks such as Robin 3, Wonder Girl 2, and Impulse slash Kid Flash 2, as well as Superboy, some of whom had previously featured in the similar title, Young Justice. All right, we're gonna stop here and visit Jonesy the first. I'm gonna upgrade my weapons, or you could fight him and get an epic assault rifle. 
Using the standard kit is such a rookie move. Thanks a lot, Jonesy. I really appreciate the compliment. Alright, back to Wikipedia. Later prominent additions from this era include Miss Martian, The Ravager, and The Blue Beetle 3. Concurrently, DC also published Titans, which featured some of the original and 1980s members now as adults. Led by Dick Grayson in his adult persona of Nightwing. Dick Grayson was the original Robin, by the way. Alright, this guy's shooting at me. I'm gonna come back around and take him out. How's that sound? Nope, that's not a good build. I gotta get on the roof. And fast. Alright, where'd you go, punk? This guy's a sweaty sweat, but we're still gonna take him out. Speaking of which, I'm working on my song, The Sweatiest Sweat. This guy's building faster than I can shoot. Such a tryhard. That's right, I'm writing a song called The Sweatiest Sweat. It's about these sweaty players that just sweat all over you. They just keep raining bullets down on you. You're having a great match, and then all of a sudden someone ruins it for you. Of course, I play like a sweat sometimes as well. But that's beside the point. Please look forward to that song. It's going to be pretty funny. It sounds kind of like a commercial. It's very really orchestral in nature. Alright, let's dance. And this dance is mine. The green gorilla takes it. I want to take a minute to point out that with the Beast Boy special emote, you could turn back into Beast Boy from the gorilla and then change back to the gorilla again. I don't think I did that in this match though. Maybe in the next one. DC's The New 52 Reboot in 2011 later brought new characters to the founding roster, including Solstice, Bunker, and Skitter. Although this volume proved commercially and critically disappointing for DC, in 2016, DC used the Titans Hunt and DC Rebirth storylines to reestablish the group's original founding members and history. Reuniting these classic heroes as the Titans, while introducing a new generation of Teen Titans, led by Robin 5, with Aqualad 2, and Kid Flash 3. Alright, that's getting comical at this point. By the way, this is Jiggy Seth 10 talking. I'm just kidding. Let's take that one out. And let's get his friend. I always build a ramp and get stuck in it. I don't think he'll ever be a good builder. Get a little bit closer. Oh, I'm so close, I can smell your breath. And we took them out as well. I do find that comical. Robin 5, Aqualad 2, and Kid Flash 3. As the team's latest members, alongside team mainstays, Starfire, that is a really cool skin, they should add that to the game here, Raven, and Beast Boy. And those two are already in the game. I wonder if they're going to add Cyborg. That's a fan favorite, too. Or what about Batman's sidekick, Robin? The Teen Titans have been adapted to other media numerous times and have enjoyed a higher profile since Cartoon Network's animated series in the early mid-2000s and its DC Nation spin-off, Teen Titans Go!, both of which featured Robin, Starfire, Cyborg, Raven, and Beast Boy as the primary members of the team. Now that's pretty cool, because Puffy Amiyumi, they're a very famous Japanese artist. They do the theme song for Teen Titans Go. My wife and I, we got to see them play on Sunset Strip. I still had a publishing deal with Sony Japan at the time, so I called in a favor and got us free tickets. And a young Katy Perry was the opening act. We had no idea who she was, but the very next year she became one of the biggest celebrities in the U.S. One of her early songs before she became famous was I Kissed a Girl, which was funny because Jill Sobule had a hit single called I Kissed a Girl, 
and my band Peel was on the same record label as Jill Sobiel. I actually met her one night at the House of Blues on Sunset Strip. That was pretty awesome. Ooh, a flopper, I'll take that. So back to Wikipedia and the Teen Titans. Hope you guys are learning a lot about the Teen Titans. A live action series premiered on DC Universe in 2018. I'm going to pick up HBO Max so I could check that out myself. Its characters and stories were also adapted into the 2010's animated series Young Justice. Within DC Comics, the Teen Titans have been an influential group of characters, taking prominent roles in all of the publisher's major company-wide crossover stories. Many villains who face the Titans have since taken on a larger role within the publisher's fictional universe, such as the Assassin, Deathstroke, the Demon Trigon, and the evil organization, The Hive. Speaking of Deathstroke, speaking of Deathstroke, the Deathstroke Cup is coming up this Thursday. It's a solos tournament. No chance of me getting disqualified there, right? And we're on Epic Games website right now. Let's learn a little bit about Deathstroke coming to Fortnite. Get Deathstroke Zero outfit early by competing in the Deathstroke Zero Cup. And this was posted on the 24th by the Fortnite team. That's Monday, which is yesterday. With both Beast Boy and Raven dropping onto the island, you knew it wasn't long before Deathstroke arrived. Beginning June 1st, 2021, the Teen Titans adversary arrives featuring the Deathstroke Zero outfit and includes Deathstroke's katanas. Sounds kind of like a Marvel character. Oh yeah, Deadpool. However, I do believe that Deathstroke was invented first and then Marvel ripped him off. I digress. Slade's signature katanas can be used both as back bling or pickaxe for players. Sold separately, you can take to the island with the Deathstroke Destroyer Glider. Alternatively, you can receive a code for the Deathstroke Destroyer Glider through purchasing issue number 4 of the Batman Fortnite comics from your local comic book store. Good luck there though, those things are always sold out. Even the pre-orders are sold out. I would recommend getting a subscription to DC Universe Infinite and getting the digital code. They do say that you can't get the digital code, but they are wrong because I've been getting it the whole time. Paid subscribers to DC Universe Infinite get access to each comic book issue in a digital format. Issue number four will be available on June 1st. Refer back to our Batman Fortnite comic book announcement for more information. They're talking about the Epic Games website there. All right, what else have we? Deathstroke Zero Cup on May 27. That's this Thursday. Compete in the Deathstroke Zero Cup on May 27 for the opportunity to unlock the Deathstroke Zero outfit and Deathstroke's katanas before they hit the item shop. Yeah, good luck there, buddy. I never even scratched the top 10,000 on those. This is a solo competition where players will need to brave it alone, playing up to 10 matches in the region's 3 hour time window. Super importante. Only play the tournament once. Although this is not a team sport, so there's no chance of playing on two teams. I did that one in the Beast Boy Cup and I got disqualified. However, I think they eventually forgave me, so that's a good thing. Specific times for each region can currently be found in the Compete tab in-game. You'll also notice a whole bunch of other cups and tournaments. I never play those things because I kind of suck at Fortnite. Which makes you wonder, if I'm not a great player, why am I making YouTube videos about Fortnite? I ask myself that same question every day. I think I just love to narrate and do the voices. Additionally, all participants accruing 8 points or more will earn the Slade's Watching Spray. 
there you have it. Just by participating in the tournament and getting eight points, you can get a slave watching spray. That's pretty awesome. All right, there's something going on over here. Let's see if I could jump into the action. Be careful of the dinosaurs. I hate to have come this far and got taken out by some dinos. Reminds me of Jurassic Park. All right, here comes the dinosaur. Oh, you're not taking me out today, buddy. Someone's raining down bullets. I better build a fort. And there's someone shooting at me from down there, too. It was almost a goner there. Alright, it looks like they've backed off a little bit. Some of the sweatiest sweats just keep raining bullets down on you. It's impossible to build faster than they could shoot you. I think I got lucky here. They gave up. To participate in the Deathstroke Zero Cup, players must have two-factor authentication enabled on their Epic account and be at account level 30 or above. You can check your account level in the Career tab inside Fortnite. Please read the Deathstroke Zero Cup official rules for all the details on the tournament. I never do that. I really should. Drop in and battle it out. Those are famous last words. Alright, we're going to go over here and see if we could heal up before we continue on. We're running towards the end of the match. There's only five players left. Let's see what we got here. That's a delicious coconut, by the way. I could use an apple. My favorite kind of apple is Honeycrisp. I strongly recommend Honeycrisp above any other apple. Awesome. I could use more shield. Speaking of the end, Season 6 is going to be ending on June 8. That's coming up pretty quick, so make sure to finish all your quests. And what do you guys think? Are there going to be XP coins? Week 11 starts this Thursday. We'll see if that happens or not. I'm trying to see if I can get that chest over there. I don't think I'm going to make it. This landmark is called Stumpy Ridge for obvious reasons. Alright, someone's dropping in over there. It's not Santa Claus. I dress up as Santa Claus sometimes for the nursing home I perform at. I haven't performed at a nursing home yet this year because of COVID. I am now 100% fully vaccinated, so I gotta give my volunteer person a call and see if I can do some performing. My acoustic guitar hasn't been taken out of the case all year. Alright, that guy got away. And there's still only five players left. Looks like someone's shooting at me from a treetop. Let's see if we can get at him. There they are. It's a sweaty sweat. This isn't looking too good for me. Let's see if we can build up here. And they took me out before I could build up. You place number five, Weenie Hut Junior 456. And of course, they're using the bull size skin. That is a very sweaty skin to use. No offense to anyone that owns that. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that match. Don't forget to support a creator, J-I-K-K-Y-S-E-F. That spells Jiggy Sef. That's me. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a great fortnight.